Hi and welcome to WEH Videos. My name is Skip and this is part two on my series on creating your own instrument panel. And in the first video you learned how to solder the wires onto the little circuit board and now we're going to learn how to determine what wire combinations create characters that we can use in X-Plane. So let's get started. All right, before we start testing the wires, one thing you ought to do is go into your X-Plane folder, go to Output, and find your Preference folder, and copy that and place it in another location. And when you're done checking the wires, you want to replace the folder that's in X-Plane with the one you copied, because you will lose all your key assignments after you've done this test in X-Plane. All right, so, after you do that, let's get started with checking the wires. All right, to determine what wire combinations produce characters, we need to plug in our circuit board into the USB port and open up Excel or X-Plane and start tapping wires together. So we're going to take our wires. Now remember, we've put them all in order, at least I hope you have, 1 through 27 in my case. and We'll start with wire number one, and we'll tap it to wire number two, then to three, then to four, all the way to 27. Then we'll go to wire number two and continue the process. So let's take a look and see how that's done. And we're going to start with Excel. All right, to find out what wire combinations create characters, I opened up Excel and I put the wire numbers 1 through 27, which there were 27 wires on my circuit board. Yours may have more or fewer. And 1 to 27 down. Then I clicked wire number 1 to wire number 2, and nothing showed up. I end, so I put an asterisk here. And this way it showed me which wire combinations produced characters. Now I did this for every wire. I went from 2 to 3 to 4. To 5, and from 3 to 4, to 5 to 6, and from 4 to 5 to 6. You don't have to go back and do 4 and 3, 4, 2 and 4, 1. You've already done that. So as you go along the way, say wire number 8, you're going to start with wire number 8 and 9. So I kept tapping wires together to see what characters they produced, and this is what I came up with. These were all the wire combinations that produced characters that I can use. You'll notice that I didn't get any characters in here. That's why there's no more asterisks. I got tired of looking for them here and I decided all the characters are going to show up between wire 20 and 27. In my case, yours may be different. So when I finished doing this in Excel, I ended up with about 50 or 60 characters. A lot of characters did not show up in Excel, and all these on line 18 were not produced in Excel. I had to find these in X-Plane, and that's why it's going to be necessary to do this in X-Plane if you need a lot of buttons. If you only need a few buttons, then just doing this in Excel will be fine. But depending on the control panel you're building, and how many buttons and switches you'll need, you may have to go into X-Plane to get more buttons. When I finished in X-Plane, I ended up with 94 combinations, and that's just including what I found in Excel, by the way, and then I had 10 duplicates. So between the word processor, or Excel, and X-Plane, I ended up with 84 usable characters that I can program in X-Plane. So now let's take a look and see how we're going to do this in X-Plane. All right, to find the wire combinations in X-Plane, we're going to go to Settings, Joystick and Equipment, click on the Keys tab. We're going to come down here to Add New Key Assignment. And now you see we have a key here that says None. Now we're going to do the same thing we did in our word processor or Excel. We're going to tap the two wires together. And as you can see, I hope, it says now I tapped wire number 21 and 27 together, and I, it says NoomPad1. 
this is a character we can program so you can write this down or if you did the Excel spreadsheet put it in that location those two wires and then we just continue doing that so let's try another combination I've got 2 and 26 yeah, and you see that open up a calculator that's interesting however we see it here and it also gave us key number two here so we know that we can use this one also all right let's try one more combination here uh, this is wire 18 and 20 and that gave us control X so that's all there is to it you notice that the calculator popped up so strange things are going to happen you need to kind of pay attention a little bit write these things down what I did after going through the wires in X plane I copied them onto my Excel sheet so when it comes time to solder the wires together on the panel I can look at my spreadsheet here and select the correct wires now I need to give you a warning here when you are tapping wires together you're gonna get some really weird stuff happening you'll notice up here on wire 1 and 26 it put my computer to sleep on wire 2 and 24 it shut down the computer and wire 2 and 23 it opened up an audio program VLC so strange things will happen and one thing that happened to me that made this rather difficult was one wire combination opened up a calculator but it didn't open it up on the screen where I could see it so as I continued tapping wires nothing was showing up anywhere over here so I finally just closed Excel and there was a silly little calculator that was taking all the wire combination and putting them there so you're gonna to have to make sure that the program you use if you use a Word document or Excel here is still active so occasionally when you get to where you're not finding anything maybe you've got something running in the background or you've done something really silly this was a a tedious process and an interesting process but I ended up with enough characters to be able to uh, build the instrument panel that I want well that's it for part two I just wanted to get this last bit of information to you so you could get started with the electrical part of the process in part three I will cover the soldering of the switches and the circuit board onto the panel as far as panel design and putting it together well I'll leave that up to you depending on how many instruments you want to have on your panel will determine how many characters you will need so if you only want to have a small panel say for your COM and NAV radios COM 1 and 2 and NAV 1 and 2 you'll only need 20 keys two for raising and lowering the whole number and two for raising and lowering the decimal number and one for this flip-flop button for switching from standby to active so when you are checking wire combination for characters you might as well stop when you get to the number of keys you need now I suggest you get a few extra keys just in case one or two of the keys don't work in X plane part three will take a bit longer to produce as I'll be making my panel and that will take some time I also will probably have some advice for the troubles I most likely will run into that I hadn't thought of before I can tell you right now that this panel that I'm working on won't work and I'm gonna to have to start over another thing I noticed is the little block of wood that I put the circuit board on and glued the wires to is a bit too big so we'll just have to see how things go I'll leave you now to get your tools parts and supplies together and start wiring up the circuit board I have put a list of supplier links in the description below that should help you find what you need however almost everything is available on Amazon and Radio Shack has pretty much everything you will need as well but the one place I like a lot is a place called James Co it's a good place for everything switches buttons and soldering equipment and pretty much anything else you need and they have pretty good prices 
83 cents for the button switches and that's the best price I've found but you should shop around so excluding tools you should be able to build a nice panel for under $80 depending on how many components you plan to use so that's it for part two if you have any troubles following this please contact me and I'll do my best to help also, if you notice I missed something or something isn't very clear, let me know so I can address these issues in part three. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please click the like button. If you'd like to leave a comment or send me a message, that would be great. Thanks again for watching and God bless.